Hello, good morning to you. It's uh, 20 to 6 a.m. Uh, for me. Today I didn't have, uh, this is uh, Conversations with the Holy Spirit number 10. Uh, today I didn't have a lot of questions for the Holy Spirit, but um, I, I sensed uh, I just let the Holy Spirit speak. Um, uh, he wants to say some things, so uh, I'll just let him speak. Uh, this is on the subject of uh, free will, on the subject of why uh, we find it so hard to let the Holy Spirit have his way and speak to us. So the Holy Spirit says uh, people find uh, in the natural flesh that they're resistant to things of the Holy Spirit, to things of God. Uh, Paul uh, spoke about this resistance in his epistles, Matthew. Uh, he thinks it's Corinthians, but he doesn't know specifically the epistles that uh, Paul spoke about this, but he did. He spoke about how um, the natural flesh is, at, is, is in enmity with uh, my spirit, the Holy Spirit, and uh, that uh, the wisdom of God is foolishness to men and the carnal mind cannot receive the wisdom of God and uh, the wisdom of God flows through uh, my Holy Spirit. And, uh, and so uh, acting according to the leading of the Holy Spirit uh, can seem contrary, can seem counter uh, what's uh, natural for flesh. Uh, Many times I'll inspire you, I'll put the thought in your intuition to do a certain thing and your mind will reject that thought. Uh, send Matthew a thousand dollars. Your mind may say Matthew's got enough money, <laughs> he doesn't need a thousand dollars for me and uh, there may be a return thought, send Matthew a thousand dollars. And uh, you may even get on uh, uh, Facebook and ask Matthew, are you short of money right now? Just to check that uh, you really heard right. Uh, that's just an example. I'm not asking for it. Matthew's not asking for a thousand dollars. People, they don't understand that our ways are best. Uh, people have no understanding that uh, the ways of God are the best ways for them. They, they, uh, they have no comprehension uh, that uh, the plan directed by us, the, the thoughts, the ideals, the concerns, the directions that we have for individuals are, are the best plans and directions that they should take. And so people act contrary to, uh, people act different, people act opposite to what uh, we desire. And uh, this is where uh, friction and calamity and all sorts of things come in. Uh, I guess that people don't think that we're right. Uh, people think that uh, they're wiser. People think that uh, they have a uh, better understanding. It's, uh, it's good back here. You can see more of the waves uh, coming in the beach. Uh, uh, people uh, think that uh, they understand uh, 
life and life situations better than us. And uh, so they think that they're acting in their best interest and according to the best wisdom that there is. Uh, when we suggest or lead a person uh, intuitively or inspirationally or with a thought, uh, and that can all be the same thing. Uh, when we lead a person to act contrary to what they're acting, uh, sometimes we get an argument uh, simply because they don't think we know best. And uh, sadly, more so, people don't think we care for them. And we've got the best uh, suggestion uh, for them and the best outcome for them. People assume that uh, the, the uh, commandments of Jesus are wrong, uh, are, are stupid, are silly. Uh, the idea of forgiving the person at your workplace for saying what they did uh, and approaching them and asking them uh, to say sorry, that they think that that's a whole lot more stupid than walking out into the lunchroom and say, do you know what Betty just said to me? What a bitch, you know? And uh, that's the Holy Spirit's swearing there. <laughs> you can forgive that. But uh, that's the language that people use, you know, and they go and uh, turn the whole uh, lunch crowd against Betty uh, for, for saying what she just said to you. Uh, uh, they assume that that's the best course of direction rather than going to Betty and asking for her for, uh, to her to say sorry and uh, forgiving Betty. Uh, they think that uh, uh, saying gossip, uh, spreading rumours uh, is better. And uh, if you look through the, the uh, commandments of Jesus, all the commandments of Jesus, the 50 commandments of Jesus, There'll be a counter thing that the flesh finds natural. Uh, when someone asks you a favour, uh, can you help them move house? It's natural in you to make excuses and say that you can't. Uh, when someone uh, uh, comes against you and wants something off you, it's natural for you to fight for yourself and, uh, and try and have your way and not uh, have their way. Uh, so it's natural. Uh, uh, the, the, the natural tendencies that a person has uh, are often in opposition to what we want in a person's life. And uh, like anything, uh, it requires practice uh, to, to walk in the Spirit and to be directed by the Holy Spirit each day. Uh, requires practice. You, you, uh, you don't uh, build a big muscle uh, never going to a gym. Uh, gym You've you got to continually lift harder and harder weights and do more and more exercise to build muscle. And uh, you, you don't uh, become obese without eating. <laughs> and uh, so you've got to practice something to become better at something, not that obese is a better thing. Uh, and, uh, and you've got to practice following the leading of the Holy Spirit to become good at it and uh, to become more accustomed to uh, being led by the Holy Spirit takes practice and discipline and, uh, and the longer and the more consistently you obey my voice, the faster you become like Jesus and a good representation to uh, the people of God. I hope that uh, you learned from this session. God bless.